Well, the Fed in focus. The Federal Reserve wrapping up its two-day policy meeting in Washington later today. It is widely expected that the Fed will pause its 18-month rate hike campaign. While she is curious to see whether or not Powell's hawkish skip could put the Federal Reserve in a tougher spot long term. Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schomberger has the details for us. Hi, Jen. Good morning. That's right. Fed officials expected to hold interest rates steady this afternoon, but officials likely to signal openness to raising interest rates again to cool still high inflation. Inflation, while coming down, is only coming down slowly and remains well above the Fed's 2% target. At the same time, the central bank wants to take a step back and assess the impact of 10 rate hikes since March, along with how much bank failures this past spring are leading banks to tighten credit standards. Several officials have pointed to a lag effect of as much of a year and a half for interest rate hikes before the impact is felt. Front and center this afternoon, the Fed's new interest rate projections. Officials estimated back in March that the peak level on their policy rate would top out in the current range of five to five and a quarter percent and be held at that level through this year. But at that time, several officials saw rates topping out around five and a half percent. The statement is expected to keep the door open for more rate hikes by maintaining language that, quote, in determining the extent to which additional policy firming, I want to underscore additional policy firming, may be appropriate. The committee will take into account the cumulative tightening of monetary policy, the lags with which monetary policy affects economic activity and inflation, and the economic and financial developments. Now, this afternoon, we'll also get the Fed's latest outlook for the economy, inflation, and unemployment. This decision coming down at 2 p.m., followed by Fed Chair Jay Powell's press conference at 2.30 Eastern.